All right, I'm very excited to get back into Ember Ward. We had a lot of fun the last time we played it, and we have a good chunk of time to play some more now. So let's uh, let's get into a new game. Uh, we'll stick with normal, and we have not seen the Bone Desert yet. So let's uh, let's give that a go and see what that's all about. Now let's see our talents. Okay, talents do carry over. So this is our meta progression system, and. Tower upgrade costs are cheaper. One of the items in shops will be discounted. All XP gain. Let's, uh, let's get more XP gain. That always seems like a good idea, right? And then... Reroll while choosing towers seems interesting. We can get the second one of those. What's this one? Your fire source. Oh, we already grabbed this. Okay. Uh, draw additional cards at the start of each turn. More draw for 20 seems like a steal. So we'll grab that. Okay. Oh, and this one, sca this one scrolls up, not down. How truly diabolical. How do we, how do we unlock these other heroes? Complete a game without taking any damage. Okay. Uh, build 100 or more 2x2 two two turrets. We've done 19 so far. Spend more than 15,000 gold. We have another 5,000 to go. Okay. So it looks like there are four heroes in the patch right now, but we will stick with you. Okay, so I one thing that I, I have now realized in hindsight is that I think there's a lot of value to looking at the shapes that you're going to get. I think they make a huge difference too. So there, I think both are something that you have to consider. I don't particularly like scrap towers. I think I think I want to try poison towers. I liked poison the last time we used it. Arcane missile towers I'm not that into, but maybe the, these ones are like an AoE. So that could be interesting. So we'll grab that. And we're definitely not doing Chaos Transmuter. We learned the hard way on that one. Start of each round, you'll earn interest equal to 10% of your current gold. Cover three points... Uh, from your fire source when passing a level, but limits your preparation time to 25 seconds. When you build walls with three tiles or smaller, the walls immediately lock in place and you draw a card. You can trigger this up to three times per round. Ooh. So with the right set of walls, which is not the set of walls that we have here, this could be really interesting. Wealth, so it's Wealth's Vault or Adventurer's Legacy. Let's go Wealth's Vault. Try and get 10% interest and we'll try and store up some money. All right, I'd like us to have the option to do the Elite, which I think we probably will do. And an L piece is fine. And then, yeah, that works. Okay. All right. I'm excited. I think we've learned a lot. I think we're going to be a lot better. Territory. You approach enemy territory. The red areas are zones occupied by the enemy where construction is prohibited. To expand the boundaries, place your blocks near these zones. Once a block is locked, it will claim the surrounding area. Okay, so they're coming in. All, all of them are coming in from over there. So, like, this seems like an easy... Uh, an easy block. Right, because we want to do like this one. Yeah, I think we definitely do. We definitely do this. And then we definitely do this. And I think it's telling me that I have to put like a block like here. And this will uh, did not claim the enemy zone like I was expecting it to. Because we can't put stuff over here. All right, well, we'll figure this out as we go. But this... Am I going to be able to... This, this may not be the proper position. I'm trying to think of the best way to... I was thinking I could do this.
Maybe just make like a... Yeah, let's, let's make something like this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put hopefully like a... Actually, no, that doesn't work. If I put a, a long piece here and a long piece here, we get a nice back and forth. So I could put something over here. I should have thought about the way we want this inside area to, to work out as well. Like, could we do something where they come down like this and then go back up like this? I think we can. So maybe we start working on that. This is going to be a little messy initially, I think. Let me see. Let me see what I draw. Yeah, because we'll eventually block this off. I don't think we're going to need to on this first tile, but... And then we're going to want them to come back up this way. And back around that way. Okay. I think this is good enough for now. And then we'll do... Do like a poison tower up at the front. And this gets pretty good coverage. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so so it did unlock, but only after we start the wave. Got it. Who are you? And should I be worried? Okay. The the fire upgrade seems clutch. This is, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. I like that. I think that's fine. Now, this one has, like, a nice long range, if I recall correctly. This... Th and this has an upgrade, I believe, that gives you better range, even. Yeah, which means that now this is going to have, like, really high uptime. And we'll get them slowed down with that. Initially, we're, we're a little broke, but... I think we're gonna need another... We may be okay. That went fine, but a little, little spicier than expected. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Now, we got something that allowed us to unlock something one, one turn earlier. Well, this is also quite good. Hold on. Didn't we, didn't we get a skill overcharge? No, unlock. Usable once per round. Okay, that, apparently we don't have that yet. Because that's going to make this hard to to weave. All right. And then... Let's see. So what, what's, what's your deal? Fire rate and range, or... Let's give you damage. Let's give you range. Let's give you damage. You're already good. Okay, everybody's upgraded. All right. Mm. 
We could use some more AoE though, I think. Alright, we probably didn't need that last one, but... So we can do we can do this tile here. I'm trying to think how I want to I want to get some more zigzags over here. This is a nice little alleyway, so we'll get... We'll get that going. I think that should be decent. This is an... This is a war chief. Okay, he disables our stuff. Interesting. I'm feeling okay right now. I don't think there's anybody too spicy at the moment that we're not going to be able to get him, but... Maybe we add one more of these just to make sure. Oh, well, there goes our there goes our unlock for, uh, for perfect. <laughs> Curses. more zigzagging going on. This will do that. And then let's see. Right now our frost towers are doing pretty good work. So let's, let's keep them chunking all the way through here. More damage, more damage. Okay. And then... Can't quite afford that, so we'll wait. Some target selection changes could probably make like a big difference here too. We're getting bodied. Okay, it seems like this uh, this new region is significantly tougher. Our our starting uh, weapons are pretty weak sauce at the moment, but I won't I won't blame them. Hey, Scorpion, how's it going? We'll go greater range room. I've, I've been told the missile turret is pretty insane. Let's uh, let's check it out. I suspect a corrupted one absolutely bodies us, but I kind of want to try it out just because. So okay, where was the unlock thing? Uh, there's overload. Here's unlock. It's 80. Let's save up for that. YouTube chat is not working. Hey, oh, Scorpion, I'm sorry. Hold on, what's going on here? That's weird. We got the first message from Alex. Uh, let me try hitting the reload button on this. Uh, send another message on YouTube. Let's see if it's going. Yeah, Hakan, this is, uh, this is very interesting. This is something completely new. We may lose it right here. 
Hopefully that comes through. There we go. Okay, I fixed it there. Okay, so we are... Is that the only spawner? That's the only spawner. Oh, no, we have two spawners. Okay, so I think we need to... So what's the path that we want them to go on? Is we want... If we put the... If we block here... All right, well, we can, we can lay this all out. And then we block... Here. Okay, so let's see. That gives us a nice long path. I'm not saying it's pretty. Uh, just curious, do you not play Deep Rock Galactic Survivor? I have not played Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Uh, which is not to say that I'm not interested. So for now, we're only getting it from this one side. So let's, let's just stack up a couple poisons and we will see how we do here. Yeah, I have never played Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, but uh, I do have... Oh, maybe we didn't have to do anything. Is our... Wow, okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. So this is our range increaser. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking we do this... And then we learn how well the missile tower works. Converts to fire damage or converts to ice damage. Ooh. Okay, we like we like that, I think. So for when the when stuff starts coming from this side, we're gonna have a lot less time. Uh, but we may be able to actually hold on. Now that I think about it, we'll, we'll do that for now. But I'm gonna send these guys all the way around like this. I think. Now that I look at it, it's great. You got it recently. I uh, love the game. Just a nudge. Yeah, absolutely, Scorpion. The absolute best place to recommend games is I'll, I'll post you my links there but the uh the discord is a great place to uh to recommend games i i have kind of like a tracking thing there so let's see so if i go like this How can I make this work? Because I would like, I'd like to get the range bonus out of this. Um, that may be a bit of a pipe dream though. So wait, so I do this. This isn't blocking anything. So I think this is good. Then we can do this. Yeah, and we're eventually gonna funnel everybody through here. That's like a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. And then, with 70 left, let's get ice missiles. And then, let's see. What, uh, what mode do we want this guy on? Highest HP, lowest HP, nearest, farthest, most progressed. Let's say highest HP. And I might actually... How much do you sell for? I could sell both of them and get two more. I don't think we need to. Yeah, Sam. I've been having an amazing time with uh, with Ember Ward. Try 
treasure. Give me that treasure. All right. Let's see. Uh, damage rune and a frost rune. Love that, actually. They're probably not in the same place. Scrap rune. Scrap rune's good for an uh-oh moment. I'm going to guess we can't get both of these, but I like the two tiles here. Where where are they located? Yeah, they're located on opposite sides. I was hoping we could get a missile to do to do work on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I don't like that very much. Them burrowing seems pretty uncool. Okay, so the idea that I had here, the concept, if you will, was to do this. And this. I know I'm, I'm using up a piece that's like, you know, precious or something, but... But we'll do something like that. And then the idea here is I'm going to send these guys even further back into the Stone Age. Oh, this says, what's what's the, this one? This is a speed rune? Oh, wait, hold on. I can probably... Oh, it's too late for this guy now. Oh, wait, no, I can sell it for full value. Okay. Can I figure out a way... To leverage the speed rune in concert with the with this. That's what I would like to do. It's, it's going to be a slightly less optimal placement of stuff, I think. That's close, but it doesn't quite work. So I'm going to just put this like this, and then... Oh, man. I think I think we got to go for this, even though I really wanted to get the speed rune involved. I don't think I can get both of them, unless... Unless I wait for a straight piece. Doesn't seem like a great idea. 48 seconds left. Greed all the way. can't put that there. Okay, so... We won't be able to put a four-piece there. 16 seconds left. Or How am I feeling? Feeling like we want to have um, this missile tower. And... This with a range upgrade... Not as good as I was hoping it was. We'll save the rest. This, this should be good. I didn't want to get this upgraded to ice damage, but... about this, honestly. Are we going to get there? I don't think we're going to get there without a lot of help. As a reminder, we're at one health, so... Let's see. Okay, so now we need... I need, do I, I have a straight piece in my deck, right? Whoops, didn't mean to draw one there, but that's okay. Okay, so I can do that, and then I can do... 
Can't do anything with those yet. Okay. But we got we got good. We're at least getting good like snaking happening here. Now you get you doing ice damage. that and that there we go. get a lot more snaking going on here so I have the speed rune I guess we can put it over here we'll put something on it in a bit uh, that could be another missile tower for sure okay Sandworms do make me nervous. We also have this scorpion person here that seems worrisome. But yes, the, the maze making in this game is extremely satisfying, Alex. I'm feeling pretty good about stuff right now. And I love the chest drops, I gotta say. Ooh, flame room. Uh, we can't quite... The missile towers are two by two. I was thinking I wanted a... Oh, we can get double flame rune, though. Hold on a second. This is a speed boost tile. Let's do that. These ones here, I think I'm just gonna increase damage on them. Okay, I think we're good. I'm excited to see how much damage this thing does. It's, it's a little, its range is a little small, unfortunately. But yeah, the missile towers are doing this insane work here. Uh, okay. So apparently we have Banelings. Good to know. Is that these guys here? Yes. They are indeed the Bane Lings. Okay, good to know. Someone said they liked Missile Towers. I, I can't understand why. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Royal Rune. This card is always in your hand. Interesting. We don't have any poison stuff going on right now. The Frost Runes have been good for us. Explosive boost. The monster killed by the tower on it explodes and causes area damage. Kind of interesting. Maybe just a straight damage boost, though, is pretty good. The fireball tower. I don't think I've seen a fireball tower. I thought this was the flamethrower tower, but apparently it's something different. We also have chomp for dealing with big stuff. I think chomp for dealing with big stuff is pretty good. 
Uh, when an ice tower hits a chilled monster, it consumes a chill effect and guarantees a crit. Love bucket. Fire damage attacks may create magma puddles, dealing four damage per second to monsters crossing it. Or your fire source will be surrounded by uh, four buffer tiles with random effects. I like lava bucket here. Yeah, I think it helps out a lot with bosses, Hakan. Okay. Little little concerned that we uh we only have one health on our fire. Bone wall. Uh walls made of bone can be removed for a cost of two gold per wall section. Okay. Okay, so what is the path here? Oh, I see. Now I see what you're saying, game. So we could we could create some pretty snaky stuff if we wanted to here. Oh, okay. Um So like we can't block this cuz it blocks the path, but if we destroyed this, we could have them all come this way and then go over this way. Okay, so like, hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to start backwards or forwards here. Because I think I want them to end up over here. cost six coins to get rid of. For night number one, do we think that our tower gets the desert scorpions? I kind of feel like I can just put this here for now and we can we can do some planning. Maybe I'm gonna put some stuff out here to consolidate everybody. Oh, wait, this is one that has the damage run on it. Okay. Well, so everyone's consolidated already. So then the question is, I think we force them down this way eventually. But I'm going to hang on to this rune until we figure out where we're going to use it. And I'm going to assume that we do just fine here. Famous last words. Hold on. You should be highest HP. So that after you shoot something, you don't shoot it again. Yep. Little, little dicier than I was expecting it to be. This is a great grab early on. Uh, let's take, let's take heal a hit point. So we have one fudge room for moving forward. Okay, so the, the thought, the thought that I was having was, oh, this is all one segment. Oh, that kind of sucks. So we can't. We, we If we do this, we have to we have to block this off ourselves, which we can do. Okay, then we can get rid of this and this. And We can we can break this to have them loop back this way. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like this is gonna carry for a while, especially if we upgrade it to fire damage. Okay. All right. Can one missile tower? S oh, it's already sandworms. That's gonna be that's gonna be a problem, I think. Can 
we take the money here? Okay. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So now I'm going to get rid of this. Ah, which, which unblocks that, which is unfortunate. Oh, man. We had some potential for... Wow. I kind of want to save the scrap tower in case we have like an uh-oh moment. And then the idea is some of these like non-interesting tiles or less interesting tiles, we're just going to clog that up so they loop back around. And then we're going to do the same thing here, I think. That was a bit of a panic buy, but hopefully it works out okay. Give me that loot. I want I want some of these tiles. I want to chomp on this tile. Where does your range go? That'll be a frost tower. And then... So the thing is, we get rid of this, and we get rid of this. And then if we put this across here, we force them around the corner. We can kind of, like... Adjust them up like this. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to chomp here, and then I didn't get it. Yeah, the rocket towers are very strong, Lido. I'm, I'm liking them. As they are doing, clearly, some of our damage, aren't they? Okay. Damage up tiles? Yeah. Let's take damage up tiles. Is there a way that I can snake them down around like this and back up? I feel like I can. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'm digging what we're doing here. We do have a we do have a straight piece somewhere in our deck, yeah. Okay. I'm saving that or it's gonna be too long to go here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we, we don't actually have the piece then that we need to make this work, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll be a full block. Wish we had a three by three tower to go there, but. Using that to, to force it in on, on this guy. And then the scrap tower, the scrap runes I'm saving just in case we, we need some love. Now I wanted to see last last wave we didn't I didn't get a lot of vision into. I wanna see I wanna see the lava pools show up. Oh, okay. You're not a fire tower yet, so obviously no no lava towers for us. Or no lava for us, because that was our 
That was our route. I, oh, there's one. Okay. The single and the long piece are good here. We can use the... Because we can't use the long piece to go here, unfortunately. But we can use the single piece to go there. And then, unfortunately, we can't quite fit it into that space there. That's, that's pretty big for us. And we can put another... Uh, we won't be able to get a fire tower there, actually. So if we do this, we could do that. Then we, then we have a spot where we can put one if we decide we need one. This, this feels like it's another missile tower. Just in case stuff gets through. The two broke. All right. It's a lot of lava we have on the ground, I just want to say. I don't have any electricity right now, but I'll, I'll do this for the healing, just to give us a little bit of a little bit of oops forgiveness type of uh, type of stuff. And our hand is getting a little full. fire missile back here on this fire boost tile, but I don't know that that's all that useful. Alright, I'm gonna, I have to use a couple of these cards just to clear things up. Our hands, uh, our hands get, he's getting full. Our hands is, is getting full. Gotta, gotta put some respect on the lava, the lava spots. That's, that's doing good job. Ooh, we're getting, getting rich. I think we did a pretty good job snaking this. Like, the one way that we could snake it back is we could break this and send them back up that way. That's actually kind of a cool idea. Let's see if we can swing it. So, we get rid of this, we get rid of this, and we get rid of this. So, initially it looks really bad, obviously. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this here and this here. And then we can put this here. That did not work. Can I not get you back? Okay, I can. Do you saw scrap? Oh, that's weird. Okay, so what did I do wrong here? Oh yeah, so I need to... Yeah, I need to...
need to do that. We'll just leave those there. That's fine. There we go. That's maximum snaking. Now, we don't have a lot of towers, admittedly. Just in case somebody crazy shows up at the end here on the final wave. Some boss that we have not previously seen. So far, I recognize all these enemies. Yeah, I think missile towers could use some tuning. <laughs> Feels good. Gosh, I think I think greater range is pretty good. Greater damage. Though I, I don't think we've seen that a lot. So we'll try that. Uh flamethrower, because we have we have the flame relic. I think that could be good. <laughs> 